Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have the Curious Creatures Adoption License. Uh, let's get the preview as well. So we can see it's two raptors, one springer, one skimmer, two jackals, two beetles, two warclaws, two griffins, and three sky scales. So, let's start opening up. We got all 15 here. Oh, the volcanic ray. That looks awesome. Oh, that's really cool. We've got the vital geode for the Springer. Quite nice. The Luminous Roller for the Beetle. We have the Moth Marked Sky Scale. That's actually quite an interesting pattern. I kind of like that. The Awakened Roller Beetle. Very nice. It's kind of annoying how it's not been added to the set, but at least we got it in the end. And it looks quite cool. Dark Mist Moorhound. Ooh. That looks awesome. Gandaran Hawkeye. Kind of a basic one again. Not too bad. The Frost Soul Skyscale. Ooh, that is cool. That is very cool. I like his, uh, the way his feet, talons, paws are, um, are crystallized ice. They're just it's very nice. What's next? The Exalted Mists Champion. This is the Warclaw. And then we have the Bioluminescent Raptor. Another kind of classic set that they like to do. Lithosal uh, for the Griffin. Another kind of thing they like to do. I think we've had a Raptor and a Skimmer of these guys already. But they're quite cool. The Vigilant Saber Claw. That looks awesome. I like the look of that. The Venomous Great Horn. Ooh, he does have Great Horn. He does look venomous as well. That's pretty cool. And is this the last one? The Sleek Dune Runner? Oh no, we have one more Raptor after this. This is a more basic one again, but it's pretty cool. And the Arceus Sprinter. Ooh, another uh, kind of just actual sort of raptory shaped one. That's pretty cool. Right, let's get looking at all of these new mounts. So, first up, the Arceus Sprinter. This is the default dies. He's very skinny. Looks like a very fast uh, raptor because I just the the sleekness, the speed of him. I just I like the look of him. Does he have an engage skill? That's unique. No, not really. And let's have a look at his die patterns. The top left is going to be his underbelly, and we have the top right is going to be some of the kind of darker marks along his tail there. We have bottom right is, or sorry, bottom left, I'll go with, is some more of these uh, marks, as you can see there, the lower body ones. And then bottom right, you can make it out. It's the main body of color, the bluish color there. Right, let's move on to the next mount. So here we have the bioluminescent raptor. Another pretty cool one. It's probably the better of the two raptors, in my opinion, just because it's more unique. It looks pretty cool. I like the glowing eyes. The pulsating, it's really cool. So a unique engage skill? Not really. Uh, let's have a look at his die patterns. So, top left is the main body, top right is the underbelly, bottom left, bottom left, ooh, that is hard to make out. It's the symboling. That's really weird, let's try a pinky color, it might stand out better. 
Not really. It doesn't. It's very. Um, there's not a lot of uh, saturation. It's very, very white. The color, but it's all these symbols along here. Oh, is I think it's the fact that the bioluminescent part goes over. Maybe that's what it is covering it all up. Let's have a look at that effect, which is the bottom right color, and that makes actually the yellow stand out a lot clearer there. I think. That's pretty cool with the orange though. It looks more magmatic. Doesn't Bloodstone Carl? That's pretty cool. Like right, so after Raptors, we are on to the Springers, where we got Vital Geode. Was it just Vital Geode? I think it was. So here is the Vital Geode. Quite a nice looking one. Obviously it looks like a very crystalline, maybe amethyst or something. Uh, I think. That's purpley orangey. A little bit of a trail effect too, the shimmering and kind of bits of crystal falling off behind. That's pretty cool. Quite like that. Very nice, very nice. And do we have a unique engage skill? No, not really again. Now let's have a look at the dyed channels. We'll go with black this time. So top left is always going to be the top part of the coat. The purpley crystal. Bottom left is going to be the orangey crystal. Top right is going to be the saddle. And bottom right is going to be the eyes. The eyes. And it looks like just the general aura as well. pretty cool. Let's move on to the skimmer where we have the volcanic ray. This guy looks pretty nice. Almost like it's being consumed by what lies within. Okay, let's see if we have a unique engage skill. No, again, we do not. And let's have a look at the dies. So yeah, top left is the main body. Top right is the underbelly. Bottom left is the outside of the fire. And bottom right is the kind of inside of the fire. So you can make a nice little... Ooh, that's cool. Do some fire combos anyway. Right, let's move on to the Jackal. First up for the Jackal, we have the Sleek Dune Runner. This guy right here. Pretty nice. His movement ability is the, the regular one, which is a bit annoying. Does he have a unique engage? No. And now let's look at the dies for this one. Right, top left is the main body. Bottom left is the rocks. Top right is the paws, tail, and uh, kind of darker parts of the sand slash main body. And then bottom right is going to be the ruins on the stones. Next up for the jackal we have the dark mist moorhound. This bad boy, he looks awesome actually. I love this effect. Which has a bit of a trail to it, which is really nice. And he has unique, uh oh, movement. <laughs> uh, this way. Oh, I'm too far. Am I? Yeah, that's where I need to be. So he's got this unique uh, movement skill, and he's got the flare behind him, his mist, I suppose. So that is pretty nice. And does he have a unique engage skill? That's the big question.
Doesn't seem like it. Seems fairly basic. Right, so the dies for this top left is going to be the main body. Top right is the kind of golden accent there. You can see a bit better with the pink and purple. Bottom left is the rocks again, the ruins. Or more so, bottom right is the ruins on the rocks, and bottom left is the rocks. Right, let's move on to the griffin. Right, now war claw. We'll do war claw next. So, first up for the war claw, we have the exalted mist champion. This lad here. I've had this design on a few mains now, I think. Pretty sure. I feel like the first one was the jackal. Engage is still fairly basic, and let's have a look at the dies. Top left is going to be the main body of the war claw. Top right is going to be the accents on the main body. So the shadowing, uh, if you do kind of this with purple, no, with purple, you kind of see it better there. Or you do orange, might be even better. Yeah, there you go. Then, bottom left, as you can see, is the goldenness of the mount, with bottom right being the eyes. Oh, there we go. Let's move on to the next one. Next up for the War Claw, we have the Vigilant Saber Claw. Very short tail on this guy. But big mane looks like a saber tooth tiger. So maybe that's where they got the Saber Claw from. Oh, he's laid down straight away. That's handy. Um, so this is quite a nice one. Uh, engage skill again. Pretty basic. Oh, there's a sand elver there. I don't know how they get up here. It really... Uh... Oh, I did it again. I can save it, I can save it, I can save it. Anyway, let's have a look at the die channels for the Saber Claw. So, top left is going to be the top of his fur, top right is going to be the bottom of his fur, bottom left is going to be the, the kind of armor plating on his armor, and then bottom right is the studs and the straps, the accents. Right, let's move on to Skyscale next. So with the Sky Skull, we have the Frost Soul, the Moth Marked, and the Venomous Greenhorn, or Great Horn, I should say. I'm going to start with the Great Horn. There are the default dies. Let's have a look at this. I like his teeth. The splash of red is also very nice. Very, very cool. This is probably one of my favorite, more basic skins. That isn't too flashy. It's very nice. Do we have a unique engage skill? Let's try it. No, we do not. Let's have a look at the die colors. Right, so top left main body, top right end of the claws and horns bottom right end of the wings where all the red is and a bit under the collar there and then bottom left is going to be your underbelly and under wing there we go let's move on so here's the moth marked oh that's all I meant to do but it's not a unique engage skill that's annoying Decent. I mean, I'm not massively 
taken aback by the skin, but it, again, it's it's a more basic skin like the last one. I just think the last one had a bit more uniqueness to it. Single long horn and the weird teeth. And let's have a look at the die patterns. Right, so top right is going to be the main body. Top left is going to be the axe and so all the white parts. Bottom left is going to be the grey, so on the spots we have it. On the back of the neck, underneath the wing as well, and on the tail. And then the red little accents is going to be the bottom right. There we go, let's move on to the more unique Skyscale from today's new from the Curious Creatures uh, box, I suppose. Collection, that's the right word. Collection. Here we go. This is pretty cool. I like how uh, the eye kind of glitters. That's pretty cool. That's a nice little touch. Got the trail effect from the ice and snow. Looks very nice. Do we have a unique engage skill? No, we don't. The shame. What a shame. Right, for the dies. Top left is going to be the accents, so kind of the tips of the wings, the legs. Top right is going to be the belly. Bottom right is going to be the main body, like the forward part of the wing, as you see, the horns, the head, the back as well. And then bottom left is going to be just the darker stuff, so the edge of the torsos. I mean, the tail there is a bit as well. What's the claw then? Oh, top left is the claw. Or the end of the wing, I should say. Right, now onto the griffin, I suppose. So with the griffin, we're going to start with the Gendarn Hawkeye. That's the sky skill. There's the griffin. So, here we are. More basic skin. Not that much a unique engage skill, which is a shame. Let's have a look at the dies. So, top left is going to be the main part of the wings, the back as well, and the top of the head. Feathers are in the top of the head. Top right is going to be the belly, the bottom of the claws, and slash talons, end of the wings. Top end, that is. Down the tail as well. Bottom left is going to be these little feathers here along the wing. Very nice. And then bottom right is going to be kind of the pattern in the wings, the central parts here. Right, and now on to Lithossal. Let's see how this holds up on the griffin. Here it is. Ooh, that is pretty cool. I quite like that. <laughs> How's it, it walk? Quite well. Okay, that's cool. How's it look in flight? Very nice, very nice. I really like this. I mean, in fairness, the claws, the talons, I don't quite like, but everything else is pretty cool. Alright, let's land and we'll look into the dies. Let's 
So top left is going to be the main kind of bits of rock. Top right is going to be all the grassy tufts. Bottom left is going to be the eye. Or no, sorry. Bottom left is going to be the actual bits of grass. Sorry. Top right is the moss. And then bottom right is the eye. Yeah, the eyes. Okay, and now finally onto the beetle. We're going to start with the one I don't like, which is the luminous roller. I don't know. I just don't get these ones. But anyway, let's have a look at it in action. I don't, I, just, I don't think it's for me, these ones. Is that just me? Like, I don't know. Ah, I can't get a good shot either. There we go. Or we should stay out of the brand, shouldn't I? And I like the, the trail effect, but I like that it has one. Let's see if I have an engage skill. No, just default. Okay, and let's have a look at the dies. I just, I'm not a fan really of these ones. I don't know, it's just not me. So, top right is going to be the saddle. Top left is going to be the main bit of the shell. Bottom left is going to be the sheen, or the shine of the shell. And then bottom right is the kind of edge of each piece of the shell and the hue also the face and the belly okay let's move on to the final one which is the awakened this one I'm looking forward to let's have a look at this bad boy that is cool I love that saddle. That's a very nice saddle. Thanks for your help. I'm sure ah. you collected with our nomad friends. Very nice saddle. Let's have a look at it walking. Might as well. Get away from that. <laughs> There's not as much of a trail effect on this one. Or any. But I like it. Right, let's get somewhere safe and look at the dies. So, for this final mount, we have top left is the main body. Bottom left are the bands around the main body and the antennae, I should say, as well. Top right is the shell and the saddle. Bottom right is accents on the shell and the eyes and the saddle. Pretty nice. Well, that is the Curious Creatures Mount Skins. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did, and subscribe for more in the future. You can head on over to this week's giveaway to be in with a chance to win one of these cool Mount Skins. First place. First place is where you get the Select License, and then the other two will get the random ones. Uh, so the link for that should be in the top right-hand corner about now. Uh, so yeah, that's it from me for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Until next time. Uh take care of yourself. You can join the Discord. Ah, oh, no, go away. Stay up to date with all things new on the channel, such as new videos, when I go live, and a weekly screenshot challenge every Saturday in Guild Wars 2. Uh, so yeah, that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed Super Bench Box.
because it's going away today, unfortunately. And yeah, that's about it. Until next time, take care.